As Officer John Gibson sat bleeding on this Houston highway, a barrage of bullets soared through the air around him. Come on. An unlikely hero springing into action, bystander John Lolly dragging the injured 29-year-old behind his truck and out of the line of fire. And I saw him get shot, and I, could, I knew he got shot because he, like, buckled to the ground, and then he tried to stand back up, and then he buckled again. Look at me. Lolly comforting Officer Gibson, who was shot in the leg during the exchange of fire with a suspected carjacker. Hey, I'm still here with you, buddy. You hear me? Yeah. What's your name? John. My name's John, too. I said, I want to let you know that you're going to be okay. The officer already put a tourniquet on your leg. I knew he was going through pain. And I know when you're going through that type of pain, like just somebody talking to you and being there with you and like holding your hand is probably going to take your mind off a lot of that. Stuff. Police say the suspect, who was wanted for multiple carjackings and aggravated robbery, fled when officers began trailing him early Saturday morning. There was a violent crash. Uh, he crashed in several vehicles. Um, he got out the vehicle and the officers got out. Um, he engaged and uh, shot uh, one of our officers. He went down at that time. After a 10-minute shootout with officers, the suspect was pronounced dead at the hospital. Police now heralding Lolly, who in the past found himself on the wrong side of the law, a hero. There's one citizen out there who has had some trouble with law enforcement in his life. But today, he and a few other citizens, along with our officers, when that officer went down, they pulled him to safety. And I want to celebrate that. Officer Gibson tonight, in stable condition, expected to make a full recovery. I hope that I wouldn't have to do it again. But if I had to, like, I will. And I encourage anybody that can help anybody to continue to help people, especially if y'all take pride in this city. All right, we thank Stephen Romo for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.